all right so I'm doing another video on this uh, per the request of the owner of this smaller emperor which I've since moved from over there I'm going to put the moon dial so that it sets or so that it, it uh, advances there it goes interrupting me on midnight I found out that it actually uh, it advances on a six thirty a.m. So they said, "Yeah, please fix that." So that's what I'm gonna do. So well, I kind of dived into this unprepared, so I don't know what the outcome is gonna be. I mean, the last video was kind of kind of a mess I was my scars were itching and I was scratching them and you guys caught a glimpse of my dirty kitchen and I doubt you guys can hear me but yeah, it's gonna have to do I can shut that curtain there we go a little better lighting <clears throat> also I have a studio light out here I forgot had it out here the other day or the other week when I was working on the Atmos clock. That will actually help a lot. Hopefully I can see. Yeah, that's probably better. I can't see with that little screen. But Alright, so first things first, I'm going to have to take the uh, weights out. Well, first things first, I need my Dr. Pepper. As I said in the last video, you need to use gloves when handling especially nice shiny weights or anything brass. Really, you should be, I should be wearing when handling the movement, but I don't have very good dexterity when it comes to moving final parts. Might be a good idea to stop the pendulum. Just feel like loose weights in there. Okay, that just makes the clock a whole lot easier to move. I'm not going to take the pendulum off because if it moves around it won't hurt anything but the weights are what's important oh yeah much easier to move without the weights should have set that at midnight first. Yeah. Put this on midnight now. I probably shouldn't do this. I need to put the one weight back on. It has auto correct and it'll correct itself but I don't feel like messing with it. Well, it really won't hurt anything. Yeah, I'll just do that just to kind of demonstrate what autocorrect is and how it works. So, I'll go ahead and set this at midnight. Well, it doesn't have to be midnight. It could be just 12, but we're going to call this 12 o'clock midnight. There. Now then. Really, uh, I don't need my gloves anymore. But I do need my tool. You guys are, you can even see. I'll have to get closer. 
I'm not sure how I'm going to do this. I mean, that'll have to do for now. Um, oh, tool. Very gently so I don't scratch anything. dropped it. That would have been bad. I had a little I had a little driver I could have used. I didn't think about using that. Pull that off. Now, I don't have to take the movement out. I hope I don't. That might be the route I'm going though, is to take remove the movement. I'm gonna shut all these so they don't flop all over the place. Turn this around. Turn the camera on so I can see it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I might put you guys over here. Get a little bit better view. Check the back. Yeah, that's better. So first things first. Just like the other the, the uh, previous video the other day. My hair looks a lot better today. I forgot to brush. Yeah, that's why I said the last video was kind of a flop. I don't expect it to get many views, but yeah, crud. I'm going to have to take off the movement. But that makes things a little easier. It's a step I didn't want to do, but at least I don't have to take the whole darn thing. Uh-oh, those are loops. That is not good. Those screws are loose. Tighten them because I don't need those. Although, Actually, if that's all that's holding those in, no, because then the whole, I just need to take the movement off. There's really just no other way to do this. That one won't screw in all the way. Whoever put this clock together didn't use the right screws. I mean, not, oops, not a huge deal. I mean, it's not like people are looking inside of this clock, but you don't want them stupid tight so as to crack the wood but you don't want them coming loose over time I hope they're not coming through the front nope still good all right so oh this is gonna be fun I didn't really want to do it this way but I'm gonna have to don't recommend taking the pendulum out that way, but that's alright. Yeah, this is going to be quite a video. You guys can't really see that well. I need a taller tripod. I have one, but I don't think it'll fit. No, it won't be tall enough even if, it, even if I got it out. So 
So, turn you guys over just a little. Okay. So I'm gonna have to take these chains out first. Yep. Or chains, not the chains. The um, <laughs> the sound bar. <laughs> well, you can tell I'm tired. Okay. Some idiot, that would be me, used my screwdriver last night. Just trying to do other things, and this is going to be too small. Nope, maybe not. Just don't fall, please. Yep, okay, there it goes. Take the sound bars off. Or sound bells, sound bar, whatever you want to call it. Oh, those are tall screws. Wow. Thought I was loose. Yeah, I watched the video I uploaded previously and I about took it down. I was like, oh my god, my hair's a mess. I'm scratching my stomach and I had surgery last year and I got scars and they were itching. They still itch today, but not as bad. Okay, there's your chimes. Silence. Okay. For safety, I want to put the hammer stays right there and tighten them. Always want to use hammer stays. If your movement has hammers and they have hammer stays and you're about to move your movement, you'll want to put them on. Uh, otherwise you risk bending, and I've learned this the hard way, but my other grandfather clock, not this one, but the one in the living room, uh, I almost pulled the hammers off their uh, things. So that just helps keep them protected and keep them from bending. And if they do bend, it's not a huge deal. I mean, you can easily bend them back into place. In fact, I've bent a little bit of those hammers uh, to kind of tune the, uh-oh, okay, never mind, to tune the hammer. Right, so that's one big step out of the way. Oh, good, these are just thumb screws. Okay. I hope I can do this. No, I gotta, gotta unscrew the whole thing. Oops, I'm the wrong way. I don't wanna drop that. By the way, I, I learned uh, shortly after the last video, uh, this clock is about 28 years old. It was made, at least the movement was, made in 1995. A little newer than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be at least the late 80s, but... See, the clock is only what five years? I think yep, five years younger than me. Okay, that should have done it. Is it just stuck? Okay, something's not right. forgot about those. Oh, 
Well, got four pins to remove. Hope I don't drop them. Or bend them. They'll come out. Okay, there's one. That's going to be a pain in the neck to put back in. There's two. Alright, sorry I'm blocking your way. Three, that one was not that hard. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Okay. Gloves. I don't want the movement following. As you can see, my floor is a little wobbly. This house is very old. So we're at midnight, so I need to turn this. That went a little smoother than I thought it would. Still a high risk surgery, so to speak. I mean, a lot of stuff could happen in that few minutes there. <coughs> I'm go ahead, put the pins back in. So let me. Oh, those go in nicely, actually. I thought they were stuck. That one. That one I can put over here. Maybe. I'm better, I better use these. them in stupid tight but you don't want them so loose that one day they just pop off and then you're wondering why nothing is working that's why these pliers are perfect could use tweezers and I recommend on a smaller clock using tweezers but these require a little extra almost lost that one okay got the pins now I'll put the brackets back on uh oh you need to go back a little. I don't know why you're there in the first place, but a little shim that I pointed out in my last video. Okay, screw that in. I think. Maybe. Why 
you cross through it. There we go. Sure, the perpendicular to the board. And I should have showed you earlier before I did this. Alright, shaky hands. Sorry guys, I gotta turn this. <coughs> Having a heck of a time. There we go. Finger tight. It's a key word to a lot of clock making that a lot of clock makers won't say. Now, I don't know if it's because it's unspoken or something, but finger tight really is all you need. Alright, so loosen the hammer stays. Move them out of the way as far as they'll go. I should like to tighten them again so during transit when I take this clock home it won't knock everything and now the bells two doors tubulator out tubulator Those are through holes. Wow. I really should test it before I put everything together, but I'm pretty confident that I got it. Just make sure it's level. Each hammer is going to hit. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Move the sound bar around. check your tuning. sound good. It's that back one. I don't know what's up. About time for chime. There we go. That's better. All right, I'm gonna put the pendulum in the wrong way. Because it's easier. And put the back, well first, put the hands on. When I put the hands on, I will show you what I did. I press that on, that 
midnight. Press that on as well. Find my nut driver. Oh wait, that's not a nut. Never mind. Finger tight. Make it easier on the next guy. All right. So we're at midnight right now. At least I hope we are. Well, as far as this goes. Uh, we are, what, eight days from midnight? Or midnight. Eight days from uh, full moon. So let's go to full moon. But I want to go around the horn. Alright, so there's full moon. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna stay at seven. All right. See the top of the sun, there's kind of a line and it's pointing at 22 right there. All right, so. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Shoot. Why is it not turning? Oh, there it goes. There was something in the way. Probably because there's no weights. So, there's 3 a.m. Five a.m. Six a.m. And right about here is when it would change. But as you can see, it's not changing. It's still at 22. Why is my auto exposure on? Nine o'clock p or a.m. Uh, there's midday, high noon. Go around the horn. There's three p.m. Oh, and you can do this on uh, autocorrect clocks, and I'll show you here in a minute. Um, but I, I know some of you that either don't know what autocorrect is or someone new to this hobby that's going, oh my God, you're turning that way too fast. You're going to screw it up. That's not the case. You can actually on certain clocks like this one, that one, and a few other ones I have, you can turn it willy nilly like that. Other clocks, you have to wait for the chiming to stop. This has an autocorrect feature on it, and I'll show that to you in a few minutes. Okay, so we're going at 9. Oh, it's starting. And it d did it at 10, or 9.30. Ah. Uh, it's not exactly where I wanted it. But, uh, it's better than, that would be 10 p.m. That's better than nothing. I'll, I'll call it 10 p.m. So we're at midnight again, bam. Now I gotta go around the horn again to set the correct time. So, 3 a.m. Four, five. You know how to count. Okay, so we're at noon again. I'm gonna stop right here at one. Um. Okay, so you guys are back where you started. I'm gonna go ahead and. This back. Well, did I put the back on? Nope, I didn't. Why didn't you guys tell me? And I will ask. I'll ask the owners later if 
that's what they want, I mean, if that's good enough, I mean, it's better than 6 a.m., but... I like the way it did that. I hope I didn't mess it up. Alright. So hoping I didn't mess it up. There should be no reason it be messed up. I got two notes that are messed up. I can fix those later. We're running over half hour. Go ahead and fix those now. I know I just put the weights in, but just have to be extra careful. Yeah. I fix those hammers, or they're going to bother me. Half hour, be, half hour video, be damned. It's going to be a 45 minute to an hour long video, folks. I did not expect this to be, well, I kind of have to, but let's try doing this for feel. Okay, there's my hammer. Oh yeah, that's really bad. There we go. So what you have to do is you have to bend the hammer back just a little so you get a nice ring. Kind of like a piano string if it strikes. Uh, yeah, you, you get the idea. You want a nice ring to it, not a, not a, yeah, a thud like it was. Yes, I'm hugging the clock. It's not the first clock I've hit, hug, hit, hit, hugged. Okay. Gently. I'm glad I got hardwood pours. A little quiet now. But what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and fire up the pendulous. Let's listen. Almost perfect beat. Let's see. If you noticed earlier, if you noticed earlier, that chime was on here when it wasn't supposed to be, and that was the autocorrect that fixed itself earlier. That's why I was able to go around without it making a sound that one time, and that's what that does. So there's three. There's 
It is 3.05 and, or sorry, 3.04. I'm going off my atomic clock here. So 3.04 and about 10 seconds, it'll be 3.05. There, 305, right on the dot. Okay, well, that does it for right now, and I'll ask him if that's close enough. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get off of here, and I've got other stuff to do. So, in the meantime, I'll see you later.